We should keep in mind we are living in a very extraordinary uh, situation regarding uh, rates uh, and, and potential negative yields on certain assets, and that is not necessarily a, a long-term situation. Clearly, uh, with uh, certain negative rates on banks' deposits in central banks, and also because of regulation, we have to monitor very closely our balance sheet, and to a certain extent, Having too much deposit is not necessarily that good today. We've just seen recently, uh, actually, in the last few days, an increase of yields uh, on the uh, sovereign debts in Europe. At some point, it will stop. So I think it's more temporarily. Structurally, I think uh, banking should come back to normal. We will see a trend towards more standardization, more amenization on capital and liquidity issues, as well as, for example, on governance. So I think it's uh, something positive for, the, for Europe, for the Eurozone, and uh, a bank like Societe Generale should benefit of that. When we talk about cybersecurity, to a certain extent, and digital is the uh, two sides of the same coin. While at, at, at the time where we develop this technology, we need to acknowledge that cybersecurity uh, is, a, is a risk. Uh, we need to understand that the dissemination of these technologies with more and more clients means potentially uh, capacities of certain people to uh, attack the system. And, of course, uh, our responsibility is to try to build the most effective defenses. I really hope uh, that uh, the UK will remain uh, within Europe. Uh, and personally, I, I think that uh, actually uh, there is a strong likelihood that uh, the result of the referendum uh, will be positive because, I mean, uh, in, in this world with uh, strong countries like the US, China, I personally believe as a, a European citizen that we have to remain united within Europe, within European countries, to precisely uh, deal with uh, security matters, uh, external policy issues, uh, and, and that what we share is very significant compared with what divides us. My fundamental conviction is that it's in the, in the common interest of Russia and the European countries to develop and maintain strong economic links and strong political links. So yes, there is a crisis currently, uh, which of course will have an impact on the uh, Russian uh, economy and on the banking system. Uh, but I think we need to look beyond the next few quarters. Uh, yes, uncertainty will be there.